while you're going through the purification process and the fiery furnace. Some of you have to come to grips with the fallacies that are in you. Because as Jesus said, you cannot pull out something out of someone else's eye when you got a big old log in your own. How can you see clearly to pull theirs out and you're not even dealing with your own? The first thing you must deal with, the first enemy you must conquer is you, is self. Because self will sabotage everything God wants us to do. We don't need the devil as an enemy. We got ourselves. Flesh. This little nasty thing called flesh. That's what you have to overcome. Is you. In other words, you must deny yourself and follow him. You must die to yourself and follow him. You must mortify the deeds of the flesh and follow him. Obey to tears. Obey till it hurts. Obey till you get really down and ugly and angry. Whatever it takes, but obey. God didn't say you had to have a sweet attitude when you obey. He wants obedience rather than sacrifice. So no matter what your callings and giftings are, if you don't know how to mortify the deeds of your body, if you can't handle me, myself, and I, how can you handle anybody else? How can you handle the devil that rises up against you if you can't even conquer you? You must conquer yourself. Keep yourself in check. Don't always assume that your, all your trials and your issues in life are because someone else is mishandling you. Don't always assume that everyone else is wrong and you're always right just because you're a child of God. You might be dealing with a, a downright sinner who could care less about God, but it doesn't mean that if they tell you the way you did something wasn't right, that doesn't mean they're wrong because they're not in Christ. Truth is truth. Get the truth out of it and grow. I don't care if a little child has to tell you something. Grow. Be willing to listen and grow. One of the, of the traits of a good servant of God, of a good leader, is a good follower. And a good follower is easily entreated. They're not full of attitude every time somebody gives them constructive criticism. They may start out with attitude, but if they continue growing, they continue sowing, they continue bearing fruits of righteousness, trust me, they're going to start appreciating every time somebody gives them a pointer here and a pointer there because they want to do their best. And you can't do your best unless you're able to receive constructive criticism. All of that comes with it. It's not just the moment where you shine. Your basic foundation to all of your giftings and callings, all of your ministries will be founded in the trenches of life, in the trials of life, in the tests of life, in the challenges of life, in the setbacks of life, in the failures of life, in the frustrations of life. Mm, even in the losses of life. 